Hey Gemini, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of June 11th through the 17th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. Already we have the Page of Cups coming out, Ten of Cups, Six of Swords, The Fool, Page of Pentacles, The World, Ooh. Five of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, it's interesting. I feel like you're trying to take a leap of faith towards something, um, but it's also, there's like a few different things going on. So I feel like you're taking a leap of faith when it comes to love, but you're also making a change or a decision that's going to affect your work or you know just overall your life i feel like there's something really big happening here for you because when the world and the ten of cups shows up gemini this is major life-changing things going on the world is a new journey new beginning um ten of cups is you achieving happiness through that it's like you're you're changing your life for the better and something is coming in for you either you're i mean honestly it feels like you're going towards it you're really making the conscious decision to take a risk or take some sort of leap of faith um and you're just kind of going with the flow but you're doing it with intention you're not just throwing yourself into anything you've thought about both of these things or all of these things um for a long time now but now things feel like it's it feels like the right time you're starting to feel like everything that you've been waiting for every decision that you've been trying to make in the last few months even years now it feels concrete it feels like more than an idea it feels like more than a plan it feels like something that you're ready to do and so the world in the ten of cups is talking about something really big happening here for you uh, but again it's you trying to make an intentional choice here for your life with the Six of Swords and the Fool, I feel like this leap of faith and this risk that you're taking here has a lot to do with you wanting to step out of your comfort zone and finally either achieve something that you've been wanting to achieve for a long time here. But also, this is you saying, if I'm going to move forward, if I'm going to move on with my life, I have to take a risk. I have to take a chance. Some of you may even be sacrificing some sort of comfort or something that you're used to in order to embark on a new journey here that's going to take you to an unknown place that you know is going to bring you happiness if all goes well it's like you're very trusting of this process but you're also incredibly self-aware at this time and whatever you're choosing to go after it's going to give you a satisfaction because no matter what the outcome is gemini you're doing it for yourself with intention and conviction and confidence so that right there is really important with the Five of Wands and the Five of Pentacles, I feel like this is that fear of failure, but also that self-criticism and that internal conflict. I feel like you're so close to achieving something that is absolutely amazing, but you still have certain things that you're dealing with or, or healing from or fighting through. And I think your challenge here is to truly let go of that fear of failure or any of that doubt or worry that comes through as you're about to embark on this journey. I feel like you have nothing to worry about, but you're putting pressure on yourself um, because maybe there's a lot at stake, you know, maybe the risks that you're taking is, you know, involving money or involving moving again, getting out of your comfort zone. However, that is maybe, you know, you're not used to taking really big chances like this, but now it, it feels so right that you're just going to go for it. But maybe, you know, the pressure of knowing that is giving you some sort of feeling of, well, if this doesn't go wrong. I'm the only one to blame. You know, I feel like there's a need to kind of release some of that energy and really fall into more of that optimism because there is so much of it here. But you need to choose what energy you want to tap into. And then that will create a lot of, um, you know, different energies thereafter. So it's about the momentum you want to create. Do you want to create a momentum towards the positive or do you want to create a momentum towards the negative? Because both are possible. And that's something that we don't realize enough when we're manifesting and going to a particular you know path or when we're going on a journey is that we can create different types of momentum for ourselves depending on what energy we focus on throughout that process but uh, we have the page of pentacles and the page of cups which to me again kind of emphasizes there's an opportunity here that you are taking and that you're going after and it could affect either your work life your money or your love life but there's also a different way to see this this is taking an opportunity fueled by passion and fueled by you wanting to live your life a different way or wanting to connect to a part of yourself that has always wanted to 
kind of shine through um, and be, you know, exposed. It's almost like you're trying to tap into a part of yourself that for some time you couldn't for whatever reason, maybe life, you know, and now it feels like, okay, this is my time to shine. This is my time to do the things that I want to do. I'm ready to take this opportunity. I'm ready to go after this and I'm ready to, you know, show my love and show my passion for this with the three of cups i feel like people um in general in your life are going to be significant whether this is the people in your relationships or the people in your family or your friend circle your work there's there's a lot to be um gained here from your social circles and the people that you surround yourself with so there's going to be strength in numbers here i would say that this is going to be a wonderful time to socialize connect with other, with other people network and collaborate some of you are going to be collaborating and working with others um, a lot, maybe for the first time in a while. Maybe taking this leap of faith involves you doing things outside of your comfort zone, which means you're doing things with other people. Maybe some of you are more comfortable doing things alone. Maybe you don't love team projects, but what you're choosing to go after involves other people. And you're saying, you know what, even though this isn't the most comfortable thing for me, I'm going to do it anyway because I know that it's going to bring me this new opportunity in life or this, you know, abundance and it's going to make me very happy in the end. So you're choosing to see the outcome um, as the, you know, most important part of this and not focusing on the discomfort or the parts that are a little bit hard. So that's really amazing because a lot of people struggle to do that. But it's because you know what you want after all, you know, you know what you're after um, again, there's intention here. You're not just doing this to do it. You're doing it because you want to. But let's go ahead and clarify the world. Wow, okay. The devil at the bottom of the deck. So Capricorn energy. Um, I feel like this is you needing to release something. I feel like you're so close to being, you know, in that path of like, ex excuse me, extreme optimism. But there's still a part of you that's maybe holding on to something from the past or maybe there's something here that um i don't know that you know this card always kind of trips me up especially when it's such a positive reading because i don't i don't really feel like i can say that there's anyone here trying to you know sabotage your journey i don't feel that i feel if anything this is the need to release something um yeah i don't know i'm gonna clarify that one but we also have the Eight of Swords, the Chariot, and the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is an amazing card. It's the portal card. It's you having something to celebrate. It's you achieving something. It's you being in the presence of people that care about you, that love you, and you saying, we've made it, we're here. Um, this is what you have to look after or what you have to look forward to is that feeling of success and that feeling of you finally making it. I feel like everything that you're doing is to get to this point where you can feel satisfied and complete. Um, you're going after something here that makes you happy. And I feel like there's going to be another person in your life that's going to celebrate that with you. Whether or not you know who this is just yet, I feel like there's somebody here that's going to be able to say, okay, you know, we did this. Maybe this person plays a part in your success. But I feel like ultimately with the Eight of Swords and the Chariot, things are going to be moving quickly. And sometimes that can create a bit of stress or overwhelming uh, feelings here because the eight of swords is self-limiting belief sometimes when things move too quickly um it can kind of i don't know if you are familiar you probably are but you know the term or the concept of imposter syndrome right so when you're moving so fast towards success or when you're moving quickly or things changing you know very quickly within your life as you are moving forward towards something that makes you happy but also makes you equally successful you know that kind of stuff um there's imposter syndrome. It's it's we are sometimes not able to allow ourselves to believe that we're actually good at something. It doesn't matter how fast you you elevate or you achieve something. You know, if you are good, if you are working towards this, if you have manifested this, if you're taking a leap of faith, if you're going on this journey and things work out as they should and you're finding that abundance, you're finding that success, you're feeling the peace, you're feeling the happiness. Don't take that away from yourself. OK. I feel like this is your challenge, Gemini, is to release those thoughts that you don't deserve it or that it's not real. You know, I feel like some of you have been working so hard on this and yet you don't give yourself the credit um, 
you know, where it's due. And I feel like the devil really is just representing you needing to release all of these things that you have been holding on to, maybe as a comfort without even knowing it, you know, deep down inside, maybe, you know, you have always tried to keep yourself smaller or you haven't allowed yourself to shine because other people or whatever, I feel like now is your time. Your, your time to really embrace all this abundance that's coming through for you, but you do have to release those, you know, thoughts of fear or doubt or, you know, whatever it is, but definitely amazing, amazing things coming for you. So I hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.